Welcome to video 7 for this unit on linear equations, inequalities, and systems. In this video, we're going to focus on systems of linear inequalities. The equation x plus y equals 7 is an equation in two variables. Its solution is any pair of x and y whose sum is 7. Two possible solutions are the pairs x equals 0 and y equals 7, and x equals 5 and y equals 2. We can represent all the solutions to x plus y equals 7 by graphing the equation on a coordinate plane. The graph is a line. All the points on the line are solutions to x plus y equals 7. The inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 7 is an inequality in two variables. Its solution is any pair of x and y whose sum is 7 or less than 7. This means it includes all the pairs that are solutions to the equation x plus y equals 7, but also many other pairs of x and y that add up to a value less than 7. Two possible solutions are the pairs x equals negative 6 and y equals 0, and x equals 4 and y equals negative 7. On a coordinate plane, the solution to x plus y is less than or equal to 7 includes the line that represents x plus y equals 7. If we plot a few other pairs that make the inequality true, such as negative 6 comma 0 and 4 comma negative 7, we see that these points fall on one side of the line. In contrast, pairs that make the inequality false fall on the other side of the line. We can shade that region on one side of the line to indicate that all points in it are solutions. What about the inequality x plus y is less than 7? The solution is any pair of x and y whose sum is less than 7. This means pairs like x equals 0 and y equals 7, and x equals 5 and y equals 2 are not solutions. On a coordinate plane, the solution does not include the points on the line that represent x plus y equals 7. To exclude points on that boundary line, we can use a dashed line. All points below that line are x comma y pairs that make x plus y is less than 7 true. The region on that side of the line can be shaded to show that it contains the solutions. A system of inequalities is two or more inequalities that represent the constraints in the same situation. The solution to the system of inequalities is all the pairs of values that make the inequalities true, or any pair of values that simultaneously meets the constraints of the situation. The solution to the system is often represented by a region on a graph. Here is an example. Suppose there are two numbers, x and y, and there are two things we know about them. The value of one number is more than double the value of the other, the sum of the two numbers is less than 10. We can represent these constraints with a system of inequalities. y is greater than 2x, and x plus y is less than 10. There are many possible pairs of numbers that meet the first constraint. One example is x equals 1 and y equals 3, since 3 is greater than 2 times 1 is true. Another pair is x equals 4 and y equals 9, since 9 is greater than 2 times 4 is true. The same can be said about the second constraint. One pair is x equals 1 and y equals 3, since 1 plus 3 is less than 10 is true. What about x equals 4 and y equals 9? 4 plus 9 is less than 10 is false, so it does not meet this constraint. The pair x equals 1 and y equals 3 meets both constraints, so it is a solution to the system. The pair x equals 4 and y equals 9 meets the first constraint, but not the second, so it is not a solution to the system. Remember that graphing is a great way to show all the possible solutions to an inequality, so let's graph the solution region for each inequality. Here is the graph of y is greater than 2x. Here is the graph of x plus y is less than 10. Because we're looking for a pair of numbers that meet both constraints or make both inequalities true at the same time, 
we want to find points that are in the solution regions of both graphs. To do that, we can graph both inequalities on the same coordinate plane. Where is the solution set represented on this image? The region where the two graphs overlap represents the solution set of the system of inequalities. Let's look at an example. A family has a budget of at most $25 to spend on activities at the fun zone. It costs $10 an hour to use the trampolines and $5 an hour to use the pool. The family can stay less than four hours. What are some combinations of trampoline time and pool time that the family could choose given their constraints? We could find some combinations by trial and error, but writing a system of inequalities and graphing the solution would allow us to see all the possible combinations. Let T represent the time in hours on the trampolines and P represent the time in hours in the pool. The constraints can be represented with a system of inequalities. 10T plus 5P is less than or equal to 25, and T plus P is less than 4. Here are graphs of the inequalities in the system on the same coordinate plane. The solution set to the system is represented by the region where shaded parts of the two graphs overlap. Any point in that region is a pair of times that meet both the time and budget constraints. Can the family spend 2 hours on the trampolines and 1.5 hours in the pool? No, these two times do add up to less than 4 hours, but to find out the cost, we need to calculate 10 times 2 plus 5 times 1.5 which is 27.5 and is more than the budget. It may be easier to know that this combination is not an option by noticing that the point 2 comma 1.5 is in the region with line shading, but not in the region with solid shading. This means it meets one constraint, but not the other. Thank you for watching video seven of seven for this unit on linear equations inequalities, and systems.